Hey guys, um, so continuing to experiment with uh, recording my ink sketches and decided I tried to narrate this one. Uh, so my roommate Aaron uh, made a suggestion of a uh, airship, and after researching ironclads and ships, I decided I'm seeing if I could try to combine some features of different airships that I liked um, to try to come up with something that looked different from them. I ended up with this very trapezoidal ziggurat-ish looking shape at the front. And as I go through, you can see as I, I had figured what I thought the basic principles of the airship were in my head. Um, and had incorporated those bits and pieces to where I thought. Uh, so, I made sure there was a ladder because I liked the idea. And then I went, well, why don't I put a bird on it? And then I put a bird's head in front of it that was spontaneously, for some apparent reason. I thought that was a great idea. Sorry about the focus. I didn't realize until I was done that the audio, fo that the, uh, that the focus was so shitty, so... Uh, these pencil lines don't look as good as they could, but eventually at some point I recognize it while inking and I fix it. So, I drew bird's heads on it and I drew all these different bits and pieces that followed its sort of, uh, the logic I thought of how the principles of its flight went work. That's powered by aether, uh, magical energy, and steampunk-ish engines and that sort of thing. So, very fantasy-ish. Um, I like the idea of a front prow, even though there's a bird's head on it, which the two of them sort of clash design-wise-ish. So, now we're inking, which is, uh, inking is where you can choose to ignore all of your pencil lines and make it whatever the hell you want it to be, which is what this is. So, I start going, okay, and then there's these catwalks here, and there's this here, and there's this platform here, and um, this is a thing here, and I started elaborating on what I thought was what, and went, oh, okay, there, there's obviously guardrails, and this is piping here, and then this is a big, huge metal thing that's spraying out stuff, and so the... Uh, I like the notion of airships. I like the idea of uh, steampunk airships in the way that they look like a, a ship, because that's very antithetical to what an airplane looks like. It's very, like, this shape is very much a, this is not aerodynamic, it can't possibly, if you were to build this, it couldn't possibly fly, but it looks sort of ship-ish, which I like. I like the idea of a flying ironclad like the Merrimack or the Monitor from the American Civil War and flying in the sky. That idea does sort of appeal to me. I was also partially tempted to try to do some sort of steamship thing. With the big huge paddle wheels, like paddle wheel steamer. I thought about doing that. So I thought about uh, doing a paddle sh steamer, and I went, well, I like the this idea of British elements and uh, old ship elements and an ironclad, and I went, okay, I'll, I'll do that. And <clears throat> you can see there's little bits on the front that look like little... Um, crystals, which I think I think uh, are part of the whole general lifting mechanism in that there are some on the wings, and there are some on the prow, and there are some on the uh, other parts of the ship, and that there's a that the crystals and the liquid are <coughs> the same medium, they're just different uh, st states of it, and that uh, when energized, they provide the lift, and everything that's thrusting is 
some sort of fire, you know, engine-looking thing. Which I think looks neat in this case. I think I was... I was tempted to do the classical, whimsical fantasy airship thing, which has, you know, a, a whole bunch of uh, helicopter rotors and a big, huge uh, zeppelin above it, but I kinda found myself really liking the idea of something that looked kind of like a bird. And, um, in my imagination, I sort of was like, okay, this, this fits with the ideas I have for um, a setting of mine of Crocs and how in that world certain things look and this sort of matches what I imagine stuff in Crocs looking like. So, um, more fire, uh, more me being annoyed with the autofocus now. Let's see, clouds, um, the sun that I put up, the sun I put up there, um, which I eventually delete because I realize afterwards that it's a very, very elliptical looking sun. Um, and then here come little detail lines, including speed lines. And as far as I know, detail lines are just sort of the sort of thing that you, you look at stuff and you go, what looks like it should be finished in a certain way, and you do that. And sometimes you come across things and you go, oh, well this should have this here, and this should have this here, this looks better to be like this, and it's not necessarily planned. And here I had fixed the focus. So, for the last bit of thinking, it's actually really clear what I've been doing. Um, and this is, this is the last part of thinking that I do, which is I always outline things that I think are interesting and mark what I'm going to ink in on the computer as best I can. Because I like, <clears throat> I found lately I like the aesthetic style of having a thicker line across objects of importance. To say, this is what I think is important, and this is what you should be looking at. Um, of course, I just happen to really like line work. I think lines are really fascinating in a drawing. And when I do inks, that's kind of what it ends up being a lot of. It's a lot of, a lot of lines. It's also very easy to get sort of in a meditative mood, doing a bunch of little tiny lines all over the place. Okay, now I'm doing the last bits of shadow, fat shadow marking, and figuring out what else I need to mark that I think would be interesting places for shadows. And then a little bit more last minute detail work, me realizing that I could make the wing look more interesting. Okay, now I'm getting the last bits, looking for anything else that might... And now we're in the computer. The first thing I have to do whenever I put anything in the computer is try to get rid of all of the pencil lines that I uh, didn't get with a eraser. Or if I'm very lazy, you can completely avoid pencil lines. Use the computer. It's amazing. So now I'm gonna fill in everything I xed as a space. I go over and I fill in with Photoshop. That's the first thing I do. And make sure that's all taken care of. And I go, okay. And then I go through and I look at anything which I think that now, looking at it all filled in, would, should be in dark shadows. Okay, and then I've tainted the background all one base color, which I found lightly is a, well, not base color, base gray. <laughs> Which I think is really useful because I like to go in and first do the highlights and figure out before I do the rest of the wash, because it is a wash even though I'm doing it in a computer, before I do the rest of the ink wash, figuring out where all my highlight points are and making sure that I already have them highlighted in the background so that they will retain that sort of color. And then I take that, that little smoke pipe and I want it to look like smoke because so I purposely made it really, really dark. And now I'm going to go through, and the first the first uh, one that I did is this really dark shadows. And 
I'm sitting, so I'm going from, <clears throat> normally I go from really, really light to really, really dark, but I skipped and went straight to doing really, really dark, because I've been feeling out lately trying to see if I could come up with more interesting steps. And so, when you're, when you're doing the shadow stuff, at least for me, um, with the ink wash, the reason I like doing it digitally, is that I can go back with the eraser button and sort of like paint in white over the black. I can remove whatever black there is. So I can go, okay, I like this, I like this, and I don't have to fill in, complete my lines completely with color or shading or whatever. I can just go, I like that, and then start deleting back to get to a lighter and lighter shade of gray that I think works. And then going, okay, this is shaded here, this is shaded here. And I want these to look sort of like clouds, um, even though they're probably, this is probably not the best clouds I could come up with that's meant to just emphasize that this is flying through the sky. And we are quickly getting towards the end here. I'm lost bits of finishing touches of this airship, which is so kind of fun to do something like this. Um, and then this is the finished piece. So, uh, my name is Josh Pierce, and this was one of my mini ink sketches. I try to do one of these every day, and I do other projects as I think them up. If you enjoyed this, great. If uh, you enjoy enough, please, I would ask you to share this video, and possibly marry it with people you know, and I am always open to suggestions. Have a good day, and buy art so you don't have to. Bye.